Welcome to Divine TV, I'm Oluwa Kemisi Nola, and this is Christian Parenting and Home Front. And on today's episode, we want to talk about how to train up our words in the way of the Lord. As we've seen that in this generation, children are not ready to listen to their parents. They want to do their own things in their own way. And one of the ways in which we can help them is by letting them know God, making them to go in the way of the Lord, then we too as parents to know God. On today's episode, I have a guest in the house. She's a teacher and a child psychologist. She has been teaching for decades. And she's Mrs. Nyinka Hadini. You're welcome, ma. Thank you very much, ma. Yeah, Mrs. Nyinka Hadini. You're welcome, ma. Thank you, ma. Uh, ma, we can see that uh, with things that are going around now, that you see parents, they, they only bring up their words in their whole way not doing it in the way of the Lord. And we know that the best way to train up our words is through the way of the Lord. But before we go to details, we want you to help us. Tell us your own meaning of Christian parenting. Parenting itself is holistic. It's a big business. It's a job. It has to do with intentional training of children to become exactly what we want them to be. And when you are talking about training, you are talking about guiding, supporting, caring, motivating, leading children to exactly become what we want them to become. Because children we don't train, the society is ready to train. Mm. Peers are ready to train. Media are ready to train. So if we leave our business, other people are there to do our business for us. So parenting is not something we can joke with, especially when it comes to Christian parenting. For those who are Christian, the Bible says we are nothing without Christ. And so when we are born again, we put on the image of God. So Christian parenting is different from parenting ordinarily. When you are parenting ordinarily, okay, you just do your job, you wake up, care for the children, prepare them for school and they go to school, come back, do homework. But when it's Christian parenting, you make it intentional in Christ. Wake up in the morning, pray together, hold hands, teach them the Bible. Let them learn and memorize. Explain the Bible stories. Let them know what happened to Abraham, to Moses, to the children of Israel, to Jesus Christ, how Jesus Christ was born. Let them know, let them be, be inclined. Let them have the understanding of what it is. And then they'll be able to stand out wherever they get to because they have the word of God in them. Thank you very much, Ma. You said it's a job. Yeah. It's a job that parents need to know that. Yes. They, they are going into this particular job and I will need to focus on it, knowing fully when that these words they are putting in our hands yes. as, as, as caretakers. Yes. Yes. But some people, they don't have that understanding. But before we go to that, I want you to, you've mentioned few, in which I also want you to mention more ways in which parents should bring up their words in the way of the Lord. I want us to know that you cannot give what you don't have. And so when we are talking about parents training up in the way of the Lord, are the parents really in the way of the Lord? Mm. Are the parents born again? Mm. The father and the mother, the way they live, the way they are uh, exemplifying their married life. Are the children learning from them? Do they pray together or do they shout on themselves in the front of the children? Do they show their happiness? Do they love each other genuinely? Or when daddy is coming, mommy keeps the phone. When mommy is coming, daddy keeps the phone. They don't, do they share together? Do they love? Do they understand? So when, uh, it's only... A Christian that is born again, that can train a child to be born again. Mm -hmm. So when you are truly in Christ, you, you, let, you, you make it intentional, you know, by doing it every day repetitively to make them know that, okay, this is what I need them to do. We need to wake up in the morning, read the word of God together. We need to go to church. When you are in church, you don't chew gum. When your teacher is mm -hmm. teaching, you listen. You know, those are the things. Training has to do with imbibing. You know, in those days, education in those days has to do with training. But now, he, 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 they are now taking teachers as, as facilitators. Modern learning is saying that teachers facilitate learning. Modern learning feel that 
those children, they have something in them. And so it is what you have in them, what they have in them that teachers help to grow. Mm -hmm. But in those days, they, we still believe that the mind of a child is like a tabula rasa in those days. And so this, uh, we write what we want them to have. We write it in their mind. I want you to be a God child. And these are the way you can do it. I want you to behave well. But these days, a lot of things are going on in the mind of a child. Thank you very much, Ma. That, the, the statement you made the other time, I want you to help us to it because just for the benefit of the viewers, you, know, you have told us that you can, the parent can only give what they have. Yeah. So the first thing is for them to know where they are going to. Yeah. So they'll be able to train, to bring the words yes. in that direction too. Mm -hmm. But that tabula riser, what is the meaning of that tabula riser, ma? Just for the benefit of it's, those that watch it. It's tabula rasa. That okay. means the mind of a child is plain. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's being developed by educational philosophers. Okay. They feel that the mind of a child is plain. It's plain. And so okay. the parents, the society, the pair, the media, they write what they want the child to be in the mind. Hmm. You know, when you give birth to a child, Three months, you know, you start giving the child breast milk. Before you know it, you expect that the child should crawl. Mm. Before you know it, the child should walk. And so when the child is walking, is hearing things, you know, the kind of music you play at home, the kind of words you say, he's, he's going into the mind of the child. The child is learning. Mm. You know, the, the, the first place that a child can be socialized is the family. The family helps the child to learn first. Mm. The daddy, the mommy, the brothers, the sisters, and all the people living with them. And so whatever attitude or the environment, whatever is going on in that environment, is going to be written in the mind of that child. And so when the child is out of that home, the child display, you know, what has been written in the mind. Mm. Okay, thank you very much, Ma. Before we go on this uh, or this Christian parents, I wanted to talk on own front because I discovered from what you said that when the parents, when they are not united, when the parents have no land to be able to dish out to, the, to their words, they will not be able to give the right thing they're supposed yeah. to give to that one. Yeah. Well, on this issue of a marriage, you know, we see people after marriage, they just end it there. They don't go for seminars. What is your advice? Because after coming together, you know, go, going to seminars, listening to what is it called, to, to, to on media, on things that we make parents to learn. You know, we learn, we grow. As we learn, we grow. But parents always think that, okay, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I've gotten to the, to, the, to the level. So let me just continue with my life then. Is this what's that coming up now that I need to focus on? They don't focus on their own, on own life too that they need to grow. Please, what do you have to say concerning seminars, parents, going for seminars, learning, growing, in order to be able to help their words? Thank you. For those who want to be parents, but parent, parenting is a stage. You don't mm -hmm. just wake up and say, I want to be parents. Okay. It's something you've been preparing for. You've been gathering yourself for. You know, so for those who want to be parents or for those who are already parents, they need to put it upon themselves that I need to, if they've not born me well, I need to born myself mm. well. I'm sorry to, you know, mm. to say that. Yes, you know, re you reborn yourself. You give yourself the image that you want to become. There's some people that when they were growing up, you know, they have uh, a lot of uh, people in their family, extended family. And so it's everybody, it is the responsibility of everybody to teach everybody. Nobody is teaching you. Everybody is teaching everybody. So it's not as if the responsibility is being stated and outlined. But now things are changing. We have more of a monopolous families. Mm. That's monogam uh, monogamy. And so because of that, it is now the responsibility of the father and the mother to take up the challenge of taking care of the children. But the parent who has not been groomed, who has not been trained mm. in the way of the Lord, mm. it, it might be very difficult to also train their children. Yes. But if you have not been trained in the way of the Lord, it's not an excuse. You can as well train yourself. Yes. Because we have, you, you go to church, you listen to the media, but how do you know what you are doing is actually right? Mm. It's the spirit of the Lord. And that is why we are Christians. 
We are Christian because we don't, others smoke, we don't smoke. Mm. Others drink, we don't drink. Mm. Others sing a uh, bad song, we don't do that. And that's the difference between us and unbeliever. Mm. And so if you are really a genuine Christian, and probably you are single, I think it would be better to look for somebody of like mind mm. to marry. Mm. Why? Because you want to grow, you want to groom a generation. Mm. You want to groom family. You want to give it to people who will be leaders of tomorrow. And so you cannot be D and then you marry C. You know, D is this way and C is this way. And so it's going to be like this. Mm. You don't have the same philosophy. Mm. You don't have the same background. You don't have the same training. You don't have the same positive mindset mm. and thinking. Mm. You know, as Christian, our mindset also matters. Yes, yes. As Christian, our mindset also matters. We will want to go on a break now. When we come back, we will continue. But I want you to know that as a mother, as a father, you need to reborn yourself in order to be able to train up your words in the way of the Lord. Thank you. Enjoy inspirational, informative, and soul-lifting Christian programs such as Christian Parenting and Homefront, Light After Darkness, Fulfilling the Mandate, Kids and Bible, Movies Review, Shepherd's Spouse, Kingdom Stars, Things Perspectives, My Next Gospel Event, and lots more on Divine Television. Download Divine TV mobile app on Google Play Store or watch on our YouTube channel. You can also visit www.tvdivine.net. Divine TV and reaching souls through the gospel of Christ. You are welcome back. From uh, the last statement you made, Ma, I have seen that um, parents, they, they always give excuse that this is the way my parents brought me up. So because they brought me up in this way, I need to bring my own words up in that way too. But from what you have said now, we've seen that when we take it in that way, that means we are going to be taking our words in a wrong path. Mm -hmm. Because we had lots that our parents are put in our brain that were not right, yeah. that we need to correct. Mm. And the way in which we can correct it is through the word of God. Yeah. So standing, sitting with the word of God is the best. So now I want you to help me expand on couples. Epi, we are talking on uh, not only Christian parents now, but the aspect of all fronts. Couples sitting down, helping themselves, talking to themselves through the word of God. That, Daddy, we've read this thing now. What can you say about this? Mommy, what can you say about this? How can we help ourselves? Even when the words are not there, so that they will be able to learn. Then when the words now come, they, too, they will now be able to pass it to them so that they will go through that. So I want you to expatiate on that, man. There's something we call learning and relearning. There's some things as adults that we need to relearn. There's some things we have to totally abolish. We don't learn it anymore. And some things that we need to learn again. When we were growing up, the way we were brought up is different from the way I'm bringing up my children now. Because I know when my daddy is coming from office, immediately we hear his uh, Pim, 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 everybody disappears. Because the rule is that before you sleep, in my family, before you sleep, you read two hours before you sleep. Either dad is around or dad is not around. And so when we hear that, we just disappear. But this day, as soon as my husband is coming, my children are happy. They want to go outside and welcome him, mm. carry his bag, you know, and tell him everything that happened in mm. the school. Mm. So, you know, the understanding is there now. Unlike the, the uh, theocratic uh, parenting that we were doing before now. Now it's democratic. Mm. In fact, it's less of a Democratic parenting is a free and fair parenting. It's a parenting that allows dialogue in the family. Mm. You know, you sit together. And dad, mom and the children. This morning, this is how we are going to do it. We are going to do division of labor. And uh, George, do you have subjection? They mm. say, Dad, do you think uh, I should be the only one washing plates every day? Mm. And I oh, really? Okay. But we assume that girls does the how chores. Mm. We also want the boys to be involved, mm. you know? So even as little as they are, they have something to say. They have something to suggest that, Dad, could you please, let's do it this way. Can we make this way? And they give suggestions. You rub minds and, you know, you move forward. Mm. It's not as if daddy say, okay, this morning, good morning, everybody. Mm. George, you are washing plates. BC, you are sweeping. Mm. And this, 
dialogue. What, what will you want us? How do you want us to clean the house mm. this morning? Mm. Do you want us to start from daddy's room? Mm. Do, you want to, do you want me to watch the car? You'll be surprised a girl can even watch a car mm. better than a boy. Mm. You, okay, mm. so parenting, 21st century parenting is challenging. It has its own challenges. Mm. But at the same time, we need to be more democratic. We need to come to the, to the level of the children mm. and be able to feel the way they are feeling. Mm. Let's rub mind together. Let's talk about their school, their friends what they learn in the Bible study, in, in church. Let's discuss. And before you know it, you'll be able to get into them deeply mm. and answer their innermost questions. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Ma. You said the, the, the democratic uh, parenting is the best. But you mentioned that it has challenges. Yes. I, I so much like that because when you were saying it, I was thinking. Because in the old days, when daddy is sitting down, you don't sit near where he is. You know, they, 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 they see it as a kind of respect, mm -hmm. that you are respecting your parents. When they are even talking, you don't talk, you keep quiet. When you have anything to, to, to say, you rather go to your mom and mm -hmm. ask. But now from what you are saying now, uh, you said it's good that daddy and mommy, they sit down. What, 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 what are the challenges that you think are there? Won't daddy say, ah, they, uh, is it because I've been sitting with you talking? That is the reason why you are talking to me like this. Is it because I'm, 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 I'm calling all of you, asking you questions? Is that the reason why you are disrespecting me? Please, ma, what can you say? Because it's very, very important for parents to be able to train yeah. up their what in that democratic way yeah. is the best. Yeah. Because you'll be able to go into their inner mind. To, they'll be able to talk to you. I thought I know that they will go out and start talking to their friends. That yeah. will lead them astray. Say, please, ma, what do you have to say? Sanitas. The challenge is time. Democratic parenting itself is time consuming. Mm. And so as a result, there is no time for the parent to sit down. Mm. What we need to do is to create the time out of no time. Yes. I know by 4.35, that is out. Probably 6, 6.30, mommy too is out. Mm. And they might not be back until 8, 9. Mm. Before you know it, the children are asleep. Mm. But create the time out of no time. What mm. about Sundays? Mm. What about after church on Sunday? What about finding a time to get together outside the family? Mm. Okay? Mm. And to, you know, talk things out. Don't create busy, busy all the time. Because it is this busy, busy that is actually killing us. Yes. And you see that the driver is having something to do with the fourth daughter of the family. Mm. Because dad mm. and mom is nowhere to be found. Yes. They need to hustle and provide money. You know, they need to pay school fees, mm. pay house rent, mm. and pay for a trip outside Nigeria. Mm. So those things, you know, those things that we want is actually killing the things that we are supposed to have. Mm, mm. The virtue, the mm. respect, mm. you know, okay, that we are supposed to be imbibed with, to grow up with. The things that we need to have, we need to wear the latest dress, mm. wear the, we have the latest car, is killing what we need to grow up with. Mm. The morals, the good morals, the standard way of living life as a christian is reducing mm. why because so many things you know is being outlined mm. the media is there that thank you very much amen ma thank you very much parents let's create time for our words if we don't create time for them now we think we are busy later that time will not be there for us but we'll yeah. be looking for it to create it yeah. let's create time for them they need us this, this what they want to hear us talk to them. Mm -hmm. They even want to speak their mind to us. But when we are not available, they go outside and they look for someone to talk to. And before you know it, they are out. Mm -hmm. Let's create time for them. And I mm -hmm. pray God will help us in Jesus' Amen. name. Now, I want Amen. to go, before we go to the next question, when you were talking, I wanted to ship in to ask a question. There is a particular family, and uh, in that family is the father mm -hmm. that take the head of fish. Mm -hmm. The other family is the mother that take the head of fish. Okay. The first family, the father just see the, the mother, everybody in that family is a, is a generational thing. Mm. That they believe that because the father is the head, mm. you should be the one to take the fish head. Mm. But in, in the other family, they don't think about that. Mother just see that instead of wasting this fish, let me eat it. Mm. So a daughter grew up in that family. Then a son grew up in the other family. And both of them now married. Mm. And when they, this is a true life story mm. in which a man of God shared. And two of them married. And after the, the marriage, one day, the woman cooked. And she, 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 the head of fish was there. 
she she just saw it that instead of just training it we are waiting later so she was giving daddy the right one so one day it remained just a tail and uh, the held so the woman now took the head mm. and she gave the daddy uh the what is it called the husband the mm. tail and that thing led to fight in that family to the extent that they were they were about to separate it was god that intervened in that family mm. i want you to help us to talk more on that on what parents what we pass to our words what we tell them what we there are times that when we are doing so we may tell them this thing i'm doing is not is not it's not that that is how it should be oh mm. you, when you get to your home you may do it in your own way i think it's better when we do that we want to go on a break now when we come back you help us to talk more on that Enjoy inspirational, informative, and soul-lifting Christian programs such as Christian Parenting and Homefront, Light After Darkness, Fulfilling the Mandate, Kids and Bible, Movies Review, Shepherd Spouse, Kingdom Stars, Things Perspectives, My Next Gospel Event, and lots more on Divine Television. Download Divine TV mobile app on Google Play Store or watch on our YouTube channel. You can also visit www.tvdivine.net. Divine TV and reaching souls through the gospel of Christ. Welcome back, Ma. Thank you very much. In life, the only thing that is permanent is change. Mm. And Africans, most times, mm. it is very difficult for us to embrace change, mm. even as Christians. We believe that, okay, this is my denomination. This is the way we do it. Mm. And when you now go outside that doctrine, you feel that you are sinning. Mm. Mm. When it's not God, it is not good. Mm. Mm. And that is what we need to know. So as Christians, we should be able to embrace change. For the fact that when my dad comes in, every one of us disappear, it doesn't mean my husband should be doing that. I will not even encourage that. And most times, you know, my husband, when he comes, there was a time he was coming from Abuja. He did not even buy anything. Immediately, I opened the door. I just said, go outside, get something, give the kids. Yeah, that's how. Thank you. Mm. Do you understand? So, mm. understanding. Mm. Know the person you marry. Know the weaknesses. There is no marriage that is perfect. Mm. But the fact is that marry the person that you can align with. Let there be God factor there. Mm. Somebody that knows God. Mm. Somebody that has respect for people. So that even at the end of the day, there's a little crisis. You can quickly go and report to the mentor or probably the Godfather that will be able to put him or her through. Mm. Because most times, most things that we do that are not good, we don't even know that they are not good. Mm. And so most times, we need somebody to align us. Could you please do it this way? But there's some people, they don't have... a. Uh, they don't have mentors. They don't have people that are guiding them. Mm. Even as adults, we need guidance. We need there to be somebody we are looking up to. Probably our pastor's wife, yes. so one of our sister in choir, mm. a house fellowship leader, somebody that we can confide in. We see a lot of marriages ah, in your home. When you get married, don't tell anybody what is happening in your family. Just be, just be packaging mm. it. Mm. Nobody is telling their mm. problem. Before you know it, things, be dying inside. things will go awire. Yes. And so there should be somebody that we are confiding mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. Somebody we trust so much. He might be, for me, he's my prayer warrior, my prayer partner. Mm -hmm. We say anything and we pray together. Mm -hmm. After everything, she tell me, Sister Inka, let us pray. Mm -hmm. Before you know it, we, 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 and I believe so mm -hmm. much in prayer. Yeah. I believe so much. Mm -hmm. Before I got married, I can pray for six hours. But now it has reduced mm -hmm. because of a lot of factors. And so as Christian, Single ladies, you marry God factors, people that has God in them, people that knows God, because there will always be crisis. Mm. So when the crisis comes, what do you do? Mm. But mm. when there's no God, you know, it's, it, it, you realize there are lots of good girls, they marry bad boys in court. Mm. Mm. They mm. end up marrying people that you think, ah, from where to where? Mm. It's, you know, it's like that. You just realize that some people, they've gone a wire. At the end of the day, they just settle with one cool headed, you know. Yes. They've known how mm -hmm. to rig marrow yes. and to, you know, catch up. The, as Christian, mm. it should not be like that for us. Mm. Find yourself in the right association, socialize with people, and, you know, let people that are, you know, people that are of God, let them, let them find you. Mm. Let them find you mm. in your church. Showcase your talents. Let that brother find you. Mm, mm, mm. It might be, it might, it might be that you went to greet someone and mm. somebody likes you. Okay, showcase you know those virtues that God had said in in, in Galatians. Mm. You know, yes. 
meekness, yes. for bearing nice. one another yes. in love. love. You know, those, those things are very important yes. for us to choose right. Mm. And as Christian singles who are waiting for the will of God in marriage, please let the God factor be there. Mm. Marry a Christian. Marry somebody who, who has a like mind. Somebody that, you know, when you fight, you, you, you can settle. Mm. Not somebody that the father used to be the mother. Mm. As a result of that, he doesn't even know that he's wrong. I want you to know that some people fighting to some people is normal. Mm. Because yes. it depends on the environment. Mm. And you know, we have some families too. And before you know it, the daddy will just kick the mommy. Mm. But life goes on. Mm. But he's wrong. Mm. And why do we know that it's wrong now? Because we are being civilized, we are being educated, we are being exposed, mm. the media. Mm. Okay, so the education will be going up, thinking. People are now thinking outside their thinking. Mm. And so a lot of things are beginning to be widening. Mm. Our imaginations are being widening. So there will always be problem. Mm. Let us know. Mm. But when the problem comes, how do we solve them? Mm. Mm. How do we solve them? When problem comes in our homes, how do we solve them? Do we involve God? Do we pray to God? I used to say something that the best person to talk to is God. You may think he's not around you. You may think he's not visible. You may think you are not seeing it, but speak out. Talk to him. When you talk to him, he knows how to settle your case. Then pray to God. Be a prayerful person. No matter, the Bible says in Proverbs 21 verse 1, that the heart of kings are in God's hands. Yeah. And as a river of water, he turning it wherever he is. Yes. Commit the heart of the persons to God. Even the person you think is a Christian, the person, the woman you think she's a Christian, yeah. the man you think is a Christian, they have their own too. Yeah. But when you commit them, bring them to God's presence, you will see that there will be simplicity. Yeah. Something will be done in their lives. So I, I beg you, please, your marriage, bring it to the altar of the law. Let God help you. And I know when you commit it to his hand, he will help you. And it will help you in Jesus' name. Yeah. We want to go to discipline. How to, to discipline our words? Is it that we should discipline them so that uh, at the end of the day they will not be able to eat? Mm. Or we should correct them, discipline them in love? Mm. I want you to help us to explain. When we started, I said you cannot give what you don't have. Mm. And so discipline, for you to discipline someone, you have to be disciplined. And to, uh, you, uh, discipline itself has to be intentional. You know, this morning I've told my children about this program. I told them I'm going to be going to somewhere. I need you to do this, do that. You know, immediately they called, Mommy, are you there? Mm. We've done what we, you want us to do. What mm. else should we do? Okay, do this and do that. For you to discipline, there should be rules. Mm. There should be rules guiding an opinion. You know, in every society there are rules. Yes. In a family, there should be rules and regulation. In my family, everybody sleeps at nine. Whatever I am doing, stop when it is nine. Because if I'm telling my children to sleep at nine, mm. and as at now I'm still pressing phone, mm. I am not laying a good example. example. Mm. Even though I am disciplining them, but I am not disciplined. Mm. So whoever wants to discipline somebody must be disciplined. Mm. And that's why you see leaders. You lead by example. You want people to resume by 7. Mm. Are you there by 6.50? Mm. You need to lead by example. They will tell you, mm, he, he, he's going to be there. Let's mm. go on time. Mm. Mm. Okay, so we mm. have to be intentional in our discipline mm. and also showcase what we want them to be. We display positive attitude. Yes, As parents, display positive attitude. You, you lying on phones. You've mm. told the children not to lie. Mm. Lie. At, at the same time, you are telling somebody you are at Hogba. Whereas you are, you, you are at Aja. Mm -hmm. That's bad. Mm. Okay. And children are learning. Before you know it, they will tell their friends. Do you know mommy lies sometimes? Mm. And you know children the way they talk. Mm. My child was telling me that somebody came to their class shouting. What happened? He didn't know what happened. But he knows that somebody, a parent came to their class shouting. You know, children, they just see things mm. on the periphery. They don't see it in depth. Yeah. And so whatever we are displaying, we should be truthful. Mm. Because I said their mind is a tabula. We, they are learning from us. Mm. And the family is the first place a child gets the socialization from. Mm. And so as a result, we have to be disciplined. A disciplined Christian, a Christian that prays, mm. a Christian that don't tell lies, that don't steal, that don't gossip. Mm. Because, you know, those are the things children are learning. Mm. Mm. The disciplined parent will bring up disciplined mm. words. Yes. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. Let's be disciplined. We just need it. It's not that when we are telling our words, do it like this, do it like that, we will not do it. We yeah. need to. Then I want us to talk about respect. Mm. Respect. Do we need to respect our words? Yeah. Or we should just respect, daddy should just respect mommy alone. No. Mommy should respect daddy alone and that's no. at the end. Respect itself is mm. reciprocal. Reciprocal. Mm. And so if you want to earn it, you mm. give it. Mm. We need to respect our children. Mm. You know, if, for the fact that you're a family of five staying in a room and parlor okay. does not mean that we will no respect when you are dressing up. Mm. When mommy is dressing up, let the children excuse. When daddy is dressing up, let the children, there should be, when there are rules, people live up to expectations. Mm. And then the rules should be followed, guidedly, mm. su highly supervised mm. rules and regulations, monitored. You know, and children will live up to expectation. Mm. You know, children, they are, they, 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 they are creatures that mm. we groom, mm. you know, we flower. Mm. You know, when you want a plant to grow, yes. you put this, uh, good soil, mm. water, sunlight, and all that. So also children, whatever the, we want them to be, we inculcate it, we show it, we give it. We guide them, we train them. And so respect should be reciprocal. Mm. We respect their opinions. Mm. We respect their personality. Mm. And we give room mm. for suggestions from them. Thank you very much, Ma. We've learned a lot from you today. Respect is reciprocal. Yeah. When you want your words to respect you, you too respect them. Yeah. You know, parents at home, we can see that with everything going on here in this generation, all the thoughts comes from parents. Know the words because it is whatever we see these words, that is what they learn. Yeah. So my advice is for us to go and sit down and learn. Let's learn from the altar of God. Yeah. Let's learn in our homes. Let's learn from things around. Even from these words we are talking about, let's mm. learn from them. Mm. Because as I said, we just sit down, look at them, and we start learning from them. Mm. And through them, we will be trained. I pray the grace to listen. The Lord will give to us Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to say thank you very much once thank you again very for much. coming. I'm I know that when we call you next time, you will be you will come. No problem. Thank you very no. much, man. Thank you very yeah, much. This yeah, is, this is uh, where we're going to be drawing the curtain. Parents, let's have the fear of God and train up our words in the way of the Lord. Download Divine TV on Google Play Store and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Divine TV. God bless you.